Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 3. In this lesson, we'll learn how to import files and how to work with drawing files. To do this, we'll start a new project using the Quick Start template in All Plan that you installed from our website. If you haven't downloaded the Quick Start data yet, take a moment to do so now. You can access this data file under the Welcome section of the Quick Start training page online. To open the Quick Start project, click on New Project, Open Project. Go to New Project, type in a name such as Quick Start Model, and select the USA Quick Start Guide template. In the Quick Start project, let's open the building structure by double-clicking in the viewport. You can see that this is set up similarly to the practice building structure that we created in Lesson 2. At the top of the building structure, we have a generic import section. First, we will look at importing a PDF under the Practice Imports file. This file will not be used in the subsequent lessons. We are simply going to see how importing is done and how it can be useful. I will demonstrate this and encourage you to try on your own with your own files. These could be files received from a customer, another project team such as an MEP file for RTU placement, or from a subcontractor. Double click on file 1, Practice Imports, to open this file. You can see the active file in the title bar at the top of the screen. To import a file, you can use one of the commands in the Teamwork ribbon. You can also go to File, Imports. Notice all the different import file options available. AllPlan is an open BIM platform and we promote integration with various platforms. The last option is you can simply drag and drop your file into the workplace. Open Microsoft Explorer and navigate to where your file is saved. Then, holding the left mouse button, simply drag the file into the model viewport in AllPlan. This dialog box will give you options for defining the page settings. You can import both vector PDFs and scanned PDFs. Elements in vector PDFs will be recognized and will be scaled appropriately. This means you can use them in your drawings directly. However, a preferred way would be to use this file as an underlay and you can draw your new members directly on it utilizing snap points to lay out the framing. DWGs can also be easily brought in in the same way, and this allows you to not only utilize information given to you, but also to use information that your company has already created. For example, you can import typical details to be used in all planned projects. That way you don't have to recreate everything from scratch. At this point, let's look at a couple tips about zooming and moving in the all plan design window. For example, use the scroll on your mouse to zoom in and out out of the drawing. The zoom will always occur where your cursor is placed. Move the cursor around to zoom to specific areas. To zoom out to the entire drawing, either press F5 on your keyboard or select the Zoom All command from the window toolbar. To access the window toolbar, hover near the bottom of the viewport. The commands will appear and then you can click on the Zoom All command. Alternatively, you could also double click on your mouse's scroll wheel. To pan the drawing, hold down the scroll wheel of the mouse and move the cursor around the screen. The element info is another very useful feature in all plan. It will display a tooltip below the cursor when you hold or move the mouse over an existing element. The tooltip provides a variety of information about the element, including type and layer. The information displayed in this tip is completely customizable. To edit this information, open the Options dialog from the Quick Access toolbar. On the left, go to Selection, then check the element info you want displayed on the right under Select Details to be displayed. For example, if we turn on the pen setting and click OK, now hover over an element, we can see the pen used to draw that element in the information. Now we're ready to import the grid lines for our project. In many cases, you will receive a DWG or IFC file with grid lines. If not, it is easy to create grid lines in all plan using the access grid command. The file for this exercise is saved in the project folder. We can use the new project open project command as a helpful trick for opening this file. The currently open project will be selected. 
At the bottom of the screen, you will see the file directory path of where this is stored on your computer. Use the right mouse button to click on this path and select Open in Explorer. This will open Windows Explorer to the project folder. Double click on the Quick Start Documents folder. Here you can see the grids DWG file. Now back in All Plan, cancel out of the New Project Open Project command. Double click to access the building structure. Now double click on Drawing File to Imported Grid Lines. We want to make sure that we put the grid lines on this file drawing. Bring up Windows Explorer again. Holding down the left mouse button, drag and drop the grids DWG into All Plan. The grids have now been imported and we can make any changes if needed. Select all the grids by drawing a window or holding control as you click on them. In the properties pane, change the line type to 5. In the next lesson, we'll start to build our structure based on this grid system. We recommend keeping the grid on a separate drawing file. This drawing file will then be referenced into other drawing files as needed. Double click in an empty space to access the building manager. Click the small square on the left next to the imported grid lines. Then click on the right square for drawing 100 foundation plan start. Notice that the small square in front of the imported grid lines file is now shown in gray and the square in front of the foundation plan is shown in red. So what do these squares and their colors mean? The squares and colors provide a quick and visual indication of the drawing file status. The red square indicates the active drawing file. Elements and components that you model will only be created on this file drawing. Only one drawing file can be active at a time. Red means active. The middle yellow square indicates the drawing file is in edit mode. You can view, modify, copy, move, and delete the contents on these drawing files. Multiple drawing files can be in edit mode at the same time. Yellow means edit. The gray square indicates a reference mode. The drawing files can be viewed but not modified in any way. This is useful for elements that need to be viewed but should not be edited while working in other drawing files. Remember gray means reference. Once the grid lines have been set to reference mode and the foundation plan has been set to active, we can close the building structure. Notice the correct drawing file 100 is indicated in the title bar. We are now ready to start modeling the building. That brings us to the end of lesson three. In the next lesson, we will start modeling the walls, columns, and footings.